Hey guys, what is going on? It is Taboki here once again, and it's time for another MapleStory video. I am actually about to make a blaster class. It's a new class that came out for MapleStory GMS, and I have no idea what this class is all about because I have not been keeping up with the MapleStory news, so this class kind of snuck up on me, definitely. But what I was reading up on it from the uh, patch notes just earlier is that it is a resistance warrior. So it is a addition to the resistance team, and I am pretty excited to go ahead and try this out um, so <laughs> let's go ahead and get right into it we're gonna create this character here and the male and the female my goodness that male hair looks like a bedhead I love it it actually looks like a claw of an eagle that is majestic this girl's hair is pretty cool I like that like random little flip up there but let's go go with the male um, we'll say okay and the eyes do we have any new ones Ooh, wait wait a second that's longing face. That's the longing face right there, ladies. All right, so that's the strong face and the bellicose face. I like that. It looks like he stole something very precious. All right, so let's go ahead and take that face, um, and we're gonna go with. Ooh, my goodness, these hairs though. This looks like Wolverine plus an umbrella. I'll take that. Let's go. The name. What shall we name this lovely fellow? Under my umbrella, 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 blast, Boki. Hopefully this name is fine. It is fine, and we're gonna shine. And it's making us do the tutorial, it looks like, again, the good old Resistance tutorial. Um, if you guys have never played the Resistance classes, uh, this is the tutorial for it. You gotta pretty much just play hide and go seek with these children, and you have to go fulfill all these citizen requests. So let's go ahead and try to just rush through this, because this is a <laughs> pretty tedious tutorial here. Do you notice like how kids just like to play hide and go seek in the most dangerous of places? Like, hey, let's go play hide and go seek next to that TNT over there. Yeah, this is totally safe. Jump quest has begun. Are you kidding me? I'm so on tilt right now. That was horrible. Oh my goodness. I. Oh, I am. I cannot believe this is getting me. What? Why can't I not hit that jump? This is horrible. This is not even. I think this is like the tutorial for the tutorial, and I'm just totally butchering this. Here we go. Okay. Oh man, this kid. I'm telling you guys, that was a that was a toughie. All right, leveled up like potato sticks. Level two now, and uh, we'll put one into crystal throw. Sounds lovely. Into the town now. We finally finished the whole uh, hide and go seek shenanigans and the captives and all that lovely stuff. Now we're here just hunting for some adorable little saplings. And this is life right here, ladies and gents. This is what we do. Is we just want to get to this point in the stage where we're, we're hunting saps. These quests are pretty darn tedious. I remember um, having to do this when I made the other resistance classes, the Wild Hunter, um, especially the Wild Hunter one, because I was super excited about that. But we gotta like fulfill these citizens' requests, and it's insane because there's there's quite a bit of people here. Actually, I think it's five, um, so it's not too bad. But, you know, it's just the hunting and gathering. At least the arrows are very shiny. I like that. That, that seems a bit new. The whole, uh, the UI for the arrows and where to go. I wish I had something like that in real life where it'll just kind of guide me. Like, alright David, you want to go eat some food now. You are probably getting very hungry. 20 of these things! No! I see some pants over there um, for the loot, but it would go against my motto to wear pants right now, so let's not wear pants! Oh, there's two! Oh, dang. There's two for none! Oh, gosh. They're both one-hit wonders, and I just, I lost it all. There we go. Going through this lovely town. I actually really like how Eldestein looks. Edel, Edelstein? El Edelstein? Is this skincare expert? Wow! That is a uh, one burnt man there. I would not like skincare advice from him. <laughs> uh, what in the tenugles, man? This dude is going to town now. Whew, he is definitely doing some level ups right there. I, I mean, I gotta say, grats to that. That was just like an insane amount of levels. So <laughs> I think the burning event is happening right now, but um, that that was a that was some potato sticks. I have not seen potato sticks that fruitful in a very long time. Um, let's go ahead and grab some return scrolls. How many can we get? Not even one. Ah, oh, well, 
the times are tough. I think we have some mesos stored. Oh, we do. Oh, thank you, Kana. If you guys are wondering, I'm in the reboot server right now, so I do have some mesos that I can squander over to my blast boki here, thankfully. So I'm I'm a uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Let's get some tens. I like ten. Yeah, <laughs> level ten. Oh, synchronized leveling. Man, it's like a sport. It's like swimming or something. All right, so let's go to the secret hideout here and finally become a first job blaster. Oh, thank goodness. All right, Mr. Elex, I want to become a blaster. Please and thank you. Yes, blast me to victory. <laughs> I am a blaster. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, let us celebrate. Let us celebrate drinks all around. You can check your ammo and your dynamo gauge at any time through the UI as shown above. Interesting. So I guess that's the uh, it's the mechanism here um, for the blaster. Seems like we use some sort of gun. We reload and stuff. Huh. Well, we'll see how that goes. I should probably read that if I kind of want to be successful with this, but oh well. well. We'll figure it out as we go, apparently. So I was uh, putting in my skills and trying to figure out exactly how this class works, and it seems pretty intense. Um, we're using like this revolver shot bullet system where we have a certain amount of shots in here, apparently. And uh, every time we use something special, we use one of the bullets. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then we can reload it as well. I don't know how long it takes to reload, <laughs> but uh, yeah, then it, it's, wow, we can really uh, maneuver around the map. Though. <laughs> that was kind of scary. Wow, so the, the maneuverability of this class seems pretty cool, actually. I like how you use the shots to kind of move you around the map, and then it takes a little time for it to reload, and you can like really get around if you need to. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming that you know there's passives in the future where you can get more shots, and then you can probably even have infinite shots for a, a temporary bit. Um, but it's nice though, I like it. I'm just here hunting some water thief monsters. They look like little foxes, <laughs> fox mice right here. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I'm really digging the blaster so far. The mobility is super cool, and I, I really like the whole bullet system. It seems very interesting, like how you have to kind of manage your shots, and uh, you can manually reload as well um, if you can tell there's like a little orange bar right there above my shots and when that gets to three I can actually use like a, a kind of like an ultimate ability which seems really cool I haven't gotten to use it on any monsters yet so um, let's let's go ahead and see how that goes all right so here we go let's check this out really quick oh my goodness that was pretty cool <laughs> so it, it like it uses all of the uh, I guess it uses kind of like all your your dyno gauge or and your shots and it, it's your like ultimate shot. Dang, just leveling up like crazy over here right now, just grinding away. Man, I'm really digging it though. It's it's so cool. I, I feel like I'm just blasting. I am a blaster right now, and I just I'm living up to my expectations right here. Oh, babies are made. I was kind of bummed because uh, the the burning event's happening right now, and you guys always know I'm so psyched about the burning event. But I don't think you can burn blasters. I got burned trying to burn a blaster. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if uh, they'll change that in the future, or if they just want blasters to kind of not level as quickly. But uh, you know, it's it's not, it's pretty fast leveling class, like I suspected. It's um. It's very, very mobility. You can maneuver very easily around the map, as well as the mobbing is so nice about this class. So it's, you know, no, no complaints from me here. Um, I feel like this class would be super fun to train for sure. So I'm really excited to see what this has to offer in like the, the second, third, fourth jobs. Hopefully I'll get there. Um, I'm leaving on a road trip pretty soon, but if I can if I can get some levels pumped out before I leave, I think I can get some nice videos out in a timely manner. I think this is by far the most exciting first job class I've played. Um, I don't remember first job classes being like this fun, so it's a, it's a nice surprise and a nice treat for sure to play this class. Um, it, it just seems like it's very flashy for just being first job, so it's pretty cool. Alright ladies and gentlemen, well I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and I want to say thank you guys so much for watching watching the first job blaster gameplay. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, I'll definitely be playing this class some more, getting him into higher levels, and uh, just trying it out. I think uh, this class will be a lot of fun, and if you guys are in GMS, definitely try out the blaster. Super fun. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.